Warm greetings to everybody. My name is Queen Lit. I'm a gospel minister. Please, if today is your first time of watching me, we are lifting the banner of don't die in abusive marriage. And the agenda is we are saving thousands of people out of abusive marriages. Millions of people out of abusive marriages. Please, for that reason, if you come, make sure you share this video. Tag your friends. Share it into groups. Recommend this page to other people. Like and follow this page. Watch our previous videos. They will bless your lives and they will bless the lives of other people. Because we are making great impact here. I am standing here on an assignment from Elohim. I'm not just here for being here sick. God bless you for doing that. You all remember how Minister Osina she died out of abusive marriage. And she left four kids. Now, the most people that suffer after abusive marriage are children. So I was not surprised when her, her, her twin sister came out and she was crying. She said, the children are out of school. Their rent is also due and they cannot renew. This is no surprise at all because the family has their, their issues to deal with. When such issues happen, it worsens the family economic status. And that is clear. No doubt about it. It is so pathetic. That is why I always say seek help. Speak out. Don't die in this marriage and leave your children. These are four kids. There is a research that says, the research was made, made in US. It says children under 18 years face depression. They, they suffer depression when they lose their parents. These children, in the space of two years, they will, they will face this problem. This depression is there. For two whole years. And even that. They need a lot of things to clear. Out of their system. So that they'll, they'll be whole. They'll be okay. And on top of it. They are out of school. They cannot renew their rent. And these children are seeing all this. So just imagine. How is the future going to be? This is so pathetic. Their mother was so talented. Who would have been there for generations and generations unborn. But she's gone because of abusive marriage. So man, woman. Don't stay there and die. Please seek help. Tell people. Talk to people. Speak out. Don't die in abusive marriage. Please. Please. You know when it happens like this, the children, they can already not concentrate. Some of them, they cannot sleep. You can imagine when it's your birthday, your mother will be singing happy birthday for you. She'll be the first person to wake you up in the morning, cook your best meal and so on and so forth. And your mom is not there. Don't forget that nobody can take care of your children better than yourself. This is a fact. This is a fact. So please stay alive and take care of your children. Minister Osinati's autopsy is, uh, is out. Okay? And when it came out, they said she died out of heart-related issues. It has nothing to do with domestic violence. Really? Like seriously? Yes, that is what the report is saying. And who can challenge this? This is a medical report. There are no traces of abuse. It is true. But let me tell you, I'm a nurse. If you go through emotional abuse, it affects your heart. All those stress you go through, you are quiet, you are going through pains, storms, problems you don't tell anybody. You can get heart failure. You can get any heart-related diseases. But in her case, there is no any trace of abusive kind of thing. And this is what the doctors are saying. So this reminds me of the prophecy, the prophet of God, the prophet Jeremiah, Dabrish, gave on this platform. I will play the prophecy again. It is in my previous video. It is not now that I'm coming to stand here and talk about some prophecy that... This is a prophecy that was said before then, before this report came out. Let me play the prophecy. Listen to it. But this is not the first time I'm playing. I want to emphasize on it. Go to the previous video. Go into my videos and you you see where I played this prophecy. And he said something that we shouldn't be surprised if the report comes out and it is different. Let's listen to it. All from the, the medical section. Let me go back, please. Listen. I received this revelation. Mm -hmm. I was given the grace and 
energy in the realms of the supernatural to travel to the house of this lady. I was in Elsinachi's house. My eyes was open in the supernatural. I began to see and I began to look. And I started to understand certain things in the realms of the spirit. The people of God and the people of this nation of Nigeria. Not People shouldn't be disappointed when they, they hear a, a different story or a different news from either the police or from the, the medical section. Because what I saw in this revelation, I'm about... Did you hear it? He said people shouldn't be disappointed. Or be surprised if they hear another news from the medical section. Because from, from the look of things and from all calculations, everything. Even I have played some audio when we wanted to do collaboration with her. The way she spoke and everything. All those things show that she, had, she, was, she was afraid. She was under pressure. She was in an abusive marriage. But now the report came out and they are saying it has no trace with, with, with her death. So if you don't take care, you die in abusive marriage, there will be no justice for you. You die and leave your children and they will suffer. Your husband, your wife will marry the next month, the next week. And if you don't take care, your children will go to another mother, another father. And if care is not taken, if God is not on your side, they will be maltreated. And you will see that your children will suffer even after your death. So please, men, women, rise up. Don't die in abusive marriage. I want us to listen to this prophecy again. The weeping prophet, Prophet Debris Jeremiah, he said, he, he sent this prophecy to me. This, this prophecy is in my previous video. I'm repeating because somebody might say, oh, now that the autopsy came out, you are here uh, to, to say something different. This prophecy is in my previous video. I played it before the report came out. Listen to it once again. I received this revelation. I was given the grace and energy in the realms of the supernatural to travel to the house of this lady. I was in Elsinachi's house. My eyes was open in the supernatural. I began to see and I began to look. And I started to understand certain things in the realms of the spirit. The people of God and the people of this nation of Nigeria. Not people shouldn't be disappointed when they, they hear a, a different story or a different news from either the police or from the, the medical section. Because what I saw in this revelation, I'm about to uncover something mysterious to you. In the revelation, I saw this wonderful and beautiful woman of God of Sinachi sitting. And I saw all the children. This prophecy is in my previous video. If you want to listen to all the prophecy, please watch the previous video and then you can listen to it. I wanted to confirm this prophecy that it is confirmed. He said we shouldn't be surprised if something new comes out from the police or from the, from the medical section. And that is exactly what has happened. When I saw it, when I heard this report, I said, God, you speak. God, you are alive. God, you are God. This is a confirmation that there might be some injustice. I'm not standing here to say anything. But if the doctors has come out, if they have come out to say this thing, who am I to say another thing? Even though Mr. Peter Wanchuku is still on trial. He's there. And he's been given a lot of charges. But how the end will be, we don't know. So don't die in abusive marriage. You might get justice, you might not get justice. And this is so pathetic. Minister Osinachi's family, Quinlet, our, our hearts, my heart is with you. Debris Group, my management, our heart is with you. We are praying alongside Sister Faith, I communicate with you and you know that we are with the family. Now, somebody might say, what are you doing to help the family? You are standing here, you are saying everything. What is your contribution? I came out and I said I wanted to adopt the second son. Go and watch this video and look under the comments. What people told me. 
What the hell are you saying? Who are you? We the Igbos, nobody take care of our children. Her twin sister is, she will do this. I have explained myself. And people are even saying, yes, because they said the second child is talented. A whole lot of things. I made a video to explain. And I explained to people what adoption even means. Adoption doesn't mean that you have to carry the child to come and live with you. But you can send your support. I have made that video. So I have made an attempt. Don't sit there and say, you are talking, you are talking. What are you adding to the family? We are praying for them. You see, I mentioned Sister Faith. It's her cousin. I communicate with her. And alongside, we are praying for the family. Our hearts are with the family. Because I'm a gospel minister. And I wanted to do collaboration with this woman of God. I have played that audio already. But the husband was making us today, tomorrow, today, tomorrow. And we, shared, we rescheduled it. Unfortunately, this sad event happened. The collaboration we could not make. By the grace of God, 24th of this month, she will be buried the announcement is already out, so I'll say allegedly, but it is out there that 24th of this month, she'll be buried. And we pray that the Lord will be with this family. Let me say this thing before I end. Sometimes God gifts certain families. One person will be the eye of the family. She is carrying the mantle. She is carrying the gift. And she is, she is the blessed one for the family. But if you don't stand on your feet and pray, back in this person, if you rather go ahead and envy, some families do that. If the Lord lifts you, they'll envy you, they'll speak ill about you, do all kinds of things so that you fall. But they don't know that you are a gift to that family. And because of you, you are not God, but you are a gift to that family. And through you, there will be some kind of flourishing. There will be some kind of light on the family. Some people don't know. But it happens. So if you see a gift in your family, pray for that person. Encourage that person. Lift up prayers for that person. Don't kill their career. And help them in times of trouble. God bless you so much. The name is Quinlet. Please follow us on YouTube. The name there is Quinlet Music. And subscribe the page. Okay, follow us on TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, like this page on Facebook and follow the page on Facebook. God bless you so much.